Hello everybody, my name is Kala Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up the BIOS correctly in your HME Zoom CU50 control unit, timer control unit. HME Zoom CU50 timer, timer control unit. Let me show it to you from a different angle so you can see exactly which unit I'm talking about. I'm talking about this unit. How to set up the BIOS correctly. First of all, when you want to go to the BIOS, you plug it in and you immediately press the delete button on your, on your keyboard and it will take you to the BIOS uh, screen. If it doesn't and if it asks for the password, the password is usually last four numbers of the serial number. If that doesn't work, open the unit. Let me go to a different camera and show you. You open these four screws. I'm going to open it. After you open these four screws, right here is the CMOS uh, jumper uh, uh, clear, I mean uh, password clear jumper. So you have to shorten those two, two pins. I'm going to zoom in because it's very hard to see from there. Let's see, how can I get this in the zoom? Okay right here oh my god this is dark let me illuminate this thing it's so dark I'm going to use my phone to illuminate this okay so if you look right there uh, there you go let's see right there no oh. That's uh, very, very hard to see. Right there, you see one, one of, one of the the jumper is say it says J, B A T, and the the other one is J, M E. So what you need to do is you need to shorten these two pins. Let me grab something to show you. Uh, let's see. You need to shorten these two pins. Short it with, with, a, with a thing, with, with a metallic object. Short that and then short these two. That will reset the BIOS and whatever jumper, uh, I mean whatever password is, it will clear. So those are the, th the ones that you need to short, shorten those jumpers. Now I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to put the screws back in. And let's show you, show you the best password, uh, I mean uh, jump BIOS settings okay so now let's put this correctly upright and we are ready to enter the BIOS okay so how do I enter the BIOS pay attention please carefully pay attention so what I do I plug it in as soon as I plug it in I hit delete but I'm gonna switch to a different camera so you can see good okay let me put this in a place where you could see the delete button I'm hitting delete hitting delete pay attention I'm hitting delete okay and I should be in the BIOS by now there it is the BIOS came up this is uh, the screen that I see from the BIOS. In the BIOS, here are the settings. First, in the main page, check the settings if you want to take a picture. Okay? In this section, the OS selection must be Android, not Windows. Keep in mind, it has to be Android. Uh, now you do scroll down, like uh, they say, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
uh, scroll on the keyboard let me let me show you the keyboard so you know what I'm talking about you have to press this scroll down to go to the trust trusted uh, computing hit enter look at the settings that's what it needs to be hit escape go to API settings hit enter those are the settings take a picture note it says power on after power failure that's very important that's how the unit turns on as soon as you plug it in if the if this is not enabled if if it's not if it doesn't say always on you have to manually turn on the unit with your finger so now I go escape now I go to super IO configuration that's what it needs to be this one enter that's the thing CPU configuration those are the settings you have to have PPM configuration that's the setting you need SATA configuration pay attention this is important it's not gonna boot up if you, if you have it wrong so that's what it has to be network stack configuration CMS CSM configuration that's what it has to be USB configuration pay attention take a picture from every screen you should take a picture so you know this one is Intel R network connection that's what that's that's what that is those are the configuration this is the configuration for that page driver health you don't need to worry about that chipset now I'm pre pressing the right arrow okay so so pay attention in order to go to the chipset I have to press the right arrow now in the north bridge these are the configurations escape down arrow south bridge these are the configuration escape right arrow security the password is currently clear but because I shortened those pins in the, in the motherboard but there will be a password normally these are the conditions of the password minimum 3 maximum 20 characters now I'm pressing right arrow these are the boot sequences pay attention it's important it's not gonna boot if this said if these settings are wrong save and exit you have to choose save and exit and hit enter to restart so I'm going to restart and let's see what happens now the unit is re rebooting as we speak there you go and booting to uh, production well, you know the Android OS by the way this uh, unit does not have uh, uh, it does not have uh, uh, Windows Windows CE it has Android so this is Android what you're seeing is Linux basically it's it's a Linux operating system so it's loading it's loading nice and neatly and this is the the welcome screen which uh, normally oh by the way I, I wanted to show you another thing this is not hooked up uh, to network so the network is not plugged in because I don't want it to communicate to the internet right now for teaching purposes okay so the network is not plugged in that's booting up and we have to give it maybe a minute or so so I'm going to pause the video so I, it doesn't drive you crazy while this is booting up okay that screen as soon as I pause the video it boom it jumped to the end and I got this screen so I shouldn't have paused I should have let you stay and watch but that's okay now remember that this is a smaller screen uh, a smaller window inside the big window keep that in mind basically this right here is a smaller window the background is a bigger window where you see the HME logo and this is the smaller logo this is a smaller window so we're waiting for this to boot up and I believe the reason this window is smaller is because of my screen resolution I, I had to hook up this unit to my uh, uh, video recording uh, video capture card and that's why it's it's doing that 
So there is the system information. This is the welcome screen and this is where you start next and set it up to your ideal settings. That's it. That's how simple it was. I hope this was educational. If it was, please make sure to click the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.